Google Ads Basics. This is mainly for my customers who have gotten one of my conversion tracking setups and they want to run Google Ads profitably. Here's a few very important key ideas. If you understand this, you will probably succeed. If you do not, then you will probably fail. Let's start. You must start off with keyword research. So you must pick keywords. So keyword is the thing Keyword is the thing people type here and then search. And you want keywords with the right intent. So I'm going to um, first show you how to do keyword research. You're going to go to Google Ads Keyword Planner. So let's say that we are a psychotherapy center in Calgary, Canada. So I'm going to go for English here. You could probably go for uh, French as well. I'm not sure. Sure in which areas French is spoken. But let's go with English because that's what I do. Uh, Calgary, I'm focusing on this area. If you do e-commerce, then it doesn't matter. But if you do psychotherapy in person, then of course you don't want to target someone in uh, Mexico. All right, I'm going to throw in a few ideas. So here, start with keywords. I'm just going to give Google Ads ideas on what sort of keywords I want. And then I'm going to click get results. So here um, we now see these keywords and how many monthly searches there are. If there are not enough uh, searches like uh, African American female therapist near me, apparently people just don't search for this enough, then it doesn't make sense to run ads for that keyword. However, if it's something like therapy near me, then this is a good keyword for you to target. All right, so here you will basically turn these keywords into groups. So uh, you would have one for like anxiety, one for depression, one for marriage and couples therapy, uh, etc., etc. All right, so here you're going to pick these keywords and turn these into uh, ad campaigns. And here we kind of get to, to uh, this important part where someone is looking for satellite, light of seasonal depression. And these may not be that good uh, keywords for you. Also, ketamine drug for depression is probably not a good keyword if you are a psychotherapist. All right. So here are some real world examples. Good keyword, best cognitive behavioral therapist in Calgary. So cognitive behavioral therapy is a type of psychotherapy. But CBT therapist salary, someone is probably thinking of becoming a psychotherapist instead of uh, paying uh, for consultation. Couples therapy in Calgary, very good keyword. Couples therapy, but the therapist is seven. So here someone is searching for a funny YouTube video. I haven't seen this one, but you don't want to pay uh, for someone to see your ad if they're looking for this funny YouTube video. So the intent of the keyword is really important. And this is probably one of the most important parts where Google may think that, hey, this is searching for couples therapy, so it's a good place to show your ad, but they're clearly just looking for this funny video, so it's not worth paying for. Another example, anxiety counseling near me. This is a good uh, keyword to target, but then career counseling, Calgary free. So career counseling is a, you know, a different thing, but Google will think if you use these broad match keywords, which I don't think you want to use the broad match kind of brings all this junk in. So you probably want to skip the broad match thing entirely. Um, so it's, it's thinking about this counseling thing. So it's showing ads for career counseling. And the free one is a problematic. You would actually want this as a negative keyword. So whenever someone has is searching for anxiety therapy free, depression therapy free, couples therapy free, whatever, you do not want your ads to be shown. You don't want to pay for that. So this would be added here in these negative keywords lists. So you would probably do something like free, career, salary, so you don't want the carrier counseling or the or, or these type of searches at all. 
Another example, anxiety and depression psychologist near me is a good keyword, but then psychologist may again Google uh, taking the broad match keyword may think that okay psychologist so it's gonna show your ads for people who are searching for this uh, Andrew Tate psychologist interview so uh, this is a, a YouTube video and someone is not looking for a psychotherapist they're looking to watch this video where Andrew Tate the controversial person is talking with this psychotherapist all right so keyword research this is the most important thing right after conversion tracking conversion tracking is most important keyword research is the second most important because even if you put in billion dollars uh, for an ad for this keyword and you do psychotherapy and your ads are perfect your landing pages are perfect you're not going to get any customers uh, and the same here because their intent is not psychotherapy their intent is this funny youtube video or this another youtube video or this free carrier counseling so it doesn't matter how well you do everything else if you do it perfectly the the keywords must be the correct one all right next up keyword ad and landing page combination so this uh, is also super important this keyword the ad you show and the landing page where people visit must match so you got to keep this kind of specific uh, for a high quality score so google wants to show good high quality ads it's good for google it's good for the advertiser and it's good for the people running the google search so bad quality score would be something like um, men's tailor near austin texas and then showing um, sneakers and then showing an e-commerce store so that's a bad quality score good quality score would be like best cbt therapist in calgary then the ad is saying, hey, we are great cognitive behavioral therapist, book a free appointment near Calgary, uh, and then the landing page talking about the CBT. So quality score makes uh, cheap ads that show up higher on the page. So here's a bad example. You take a bunch of these random keywords, including the ones, you know, with the... Um, YouTube videos and salaries and free and stuff like that and you just have like a random ad saying hey we do psychotherapist uh, we do psychotherapy here and then you lead them to your home page so maybe this isn't bad maybe this is like meh maybe like okay but definitely not good so Google says these are low quality score ads because you know, you're not mentioning anxiety in your ad or your landing page. You're not mentioning uh, couples therapy in your ad or in your landing page. So Google thinks that, hey, these are not very high quality. Maybe they're not one out of 10 because it's still like therapy, but they are not a good quality score. So the ads are more expensive if they're low quality. So there's a super high incentive to make really good ad uh, keyword and landing page combinations. They're not going to be shown up high. This is my understanding. So someone who is running an ad for couples therapy, their ad will be up higher than your ad saying psychotherapist instead of uh, couples therapy. So uh, you will not get as many conversions. So Google ads will not be able to kind of learn based on these conversions. So Google ads algorithm uh, will kind of learn from the conversions you send as long as you have conversion tracking enabled which is my business and then it knows hey last time this person who is uh, uh, who has an iPhone and googled at this time and they googled this keyword uh, they converted but then this random person who had this other device and they don't make as much money and they googled this other uh, thing they did not convert so let's allocate our budget to the ads that work and and the placements and and the timings but google must know it must kind of learn what works so it can do what works on your behalf automatically so this is a kind of like a negative cycle all right so here is a better example 
if your keyword is best CBT therapist, the cognitive behavioral therapist in Calgary, then your ads could be like CBT therapy in Calgary book now. And this would go to a landing page where you talk about cognitive behavioral therapy, its benefits and how you have so much experience and all these great testimonials and all these great results for your customers uh, doing CBT. And the same for couples therapy. The ad is a couples therapy ad and the landing page is a couples therapy landing page. For anxiety, maybe you have different keywords like anxiety counseling near me and anxiety and depression psychologist near me. So here this example is actually, uh, the, actually this could be the same ad. So you could turn this anxiety thing into a group where it doesn't necessarily need to be uh, uh, the, the different ad. But here, uh, again, there's like an anxiety landing page and maybe even these ads could be the same, at least in the beginning. And the psychologist salary has been removed as a negative keyword. You will not show any ads. You will not pay for ads uh, for someone Googling this. All right, so what does Google think? High quality score because the keyword, the ad and the landing page all match. Remember here, um, they are not really matching. It's like we take all this stuff and we just put it in the same bucket, whether it makes sense or not. Here, everything is making sense. Someone who is looking for anxiety treatment is getting an ad about anxiety and information about anxiety, maybe some you know, breathing exercises or something they can do or a, a, an assessment or just talking about you know, what causes anxiety and your... Um, uh, how good you are at treating anxiety. All right, so cheaper ads, you will literally pay less for your ads if they're high quality. They will, uh, my understanding is that they will be shown higher up on the page. So because you have better ads, they will show up first, you will get more clicks, you got more conversions. Conversions teach the Google, Google algorithm which placements and which uh, you know, what works and what doesn't. And Google will automatically allocate your clicks and your budget to what works, meaning the audience that will convert. You know, you will get more conversions and you get this kind of positive cycle and everyone, all your competitors will be really uh, depressed and anxious and you will be really happy with, uh, with all the conversions you are getting. So yeah, this is the key to running Google ads, keyword research, you know, the correct intent, and then the keyword and, and landing page combinations. So you should kind of get into habit of quickly whipping up new landing pages for uh, specific searches. So in Squarespace, for example, or WordPress or wherever, maybe you make a, maybe you make this template and you take like a day or two to make it really good. But then you just copy this and then you kind of replace all the CBT stuff with uh, the couples therapy and just, you know, edit it so in enough so it makes sense. But a lot of the content may be uh, somewhat similar, maybe the testimonials and the contact uh, stuff and, and the conversion system and all that stuff. But when you have this template, then you can just clone, kind of duplicate it and then just kind of replace the content with uh, anxiety instead of depression or, or whatever, and then show these anxiety ads uh, and direct them into the anxiety page. All right, hopefully this was helpful. Please keep these in mind when running Google ads and you will do well. And if you need help with conversion tracking and perhaps some Google ads as well, then visit conversiontracking.io and get one of my conversion tracking setups. Again, if you do not measure your ads uh, and their performance, none of this will work. This is a total waste of time doing anything if we do not have conversion tracking in place. So I recommend starting with keyword research. And if there are keywords that make sense, then you get in touch with me, we will set up your conversion tracking, and then you will 
uh, start running ads using this formula. All right, so for conversion tracking, the best on the planet, uh, there are levels to conversion tracking. So uh, a quick example, here are a couple of different versions I'm testing for one client. So another conversion tracking method may measure just 180 conversions, but then a new improved method uh, using conversions API for Facebook, for example, may measure a higher number, which again leads to the positive cycle of training the algorithm, having the positive return on ad spend, knowing what works, both you and the platform and the AI. And yeah, conversion tracking, super important. But e even more so, a good conversion tracking setup, not just a random conversion tracking setup from a guy on Upwork or Fiverr. All right, thanks for watching. Good luck with your Google Ads. And yeah, let me know how it goes.